man. Hallelujah. Oh, man. Welcome to, look, we got look, some of y'all got some, uh, at least I got another hour of sleep this time. And, and I'm telling you, I am excited uh, with the knowledge that we're getting now. We're getting knowledge. We're getting understanding of His Word. Uh, if we we getting the we getting to sit to the point where we can sit there and 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 get more spiritual connected with the Father in heaven and 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 with the Son. We 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 now know their name. You know what I mean? We know their names. They, 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 uh, we know their Hebrew name. That's probably when you when you start educating people, start telling them his Hebrew name. You know his Hebrew name. This is the name that for in the Old Testament, the Old Testament, OT. His name is 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 was replaced. In the King James version, and and a lot of the other Bible versions, where you see capital L O R D, now you know it is Yahuwah, huh? Y A H U A H Yahuwah, huh? You you now know. That he said, I mean, in fact, we got we got a scripture today, I'm telling you, where God says, Yahuwah is my name. See, Lord is a title. Come on now. I mean, I'm just trying to make sure everybody understand. We're trying to educate you. You know, the Bible said to show, you know, t you know, 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show yourself approved unto God, not unto man. No, no, my fact, you really could the Hebrew translated study show yourself approved unto Yah. Huh? Y H A H, huh? Yah. I know you're sitting there saying, I don't know all that also, but you know it now. See, there's a time where God sit there and said, I know you were ignorant. And the servants are ordained and talked to and told them <laughs> to go preach the gospel. To go teach my own nations so that people would know my name. Huh? You can't sit there and somebody said, well, well, you know, they, they didn't want to look, look, let me tell you something. He said in the scriptures, my name. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about it many times. Cause I do, oh man, I, I love Second Chronicle. But we'll get to it. Second Chronicles 7 14. <laughs> He want people to know his name. Don't sit there and tell me they ain't want, he ain't want nobody to know his name. But the point is, I'm saying is, for all of us today, this is the day that we are starting to learn who he is and who his son is. And is that their Hebrew name? And that's the name that they use in Old Testament, Yahuwah? Come on now. That hasn't changed. He said, in my, what is it, Michael? I change not. We're going to sit there and go say, well, I'm going to call you Mike because I want to call you Mike. Well, I know your name is Steve, but say, I'm going to call you Mike because, you know, I, I, I now translated it to be Mike. Huh? You know what I mean? I, I, I speak the Mike language, so I have to call you by your Mike language, huh? Opposed to the fact is, no, no, I need to call you who you are because you told us who you are. He, it's not a secret. I mean, I, and, and I, matter of fact, as I start this, I want you to sit there and ask yourself this question. All the ministers and priests and pope uh, and pastors, right? Who we pay, many of us pay full time, full time to study the gospel, to study the word of God. We tend so we send some of them to Hebrew to, to seminaries where they study Greek, huh? They study Latin, huh? And they know his Hebrew name. And there's a point where now you supposed to if you don't you don't want to that we're doing it the people the layman huh we will tell you 
We will study ourselves and we will inform ourselves, one another, <laughs> that we know his name. You didn't want to tell us his name. You want to sit there and, and try to use uh, man's version of the name because we you thought that that, that was acceptable. You thought that, well, maybe some people said, well, that's a Western name we use when we say Jesus. And the Hebrew name is, is, is in, in Africa or, or in the Middle East or Asia. You know what I mean? We, 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 we wanted to use a Western name because that, 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 that conformed to our desire. Our, our, our psyche, our world view, huh? We sit there and say, we're going to, matter of fact, we're going to even paint pictures that, that, that conforms to who we think he's supposed to be, opposed to who we know he's supposed to look like, huh? So, I mean, you change the name, people, and you, I understand, we've been, and, and then force that name, impose that name on our ancestors. You know, because you could have told people the name a long time ago. You could have told the people, you could have told the people back in, in, uh, uh, back in the first century. This is 2024, and you still giving us a name that doesn't line up with, his name. And I'm looking at, I sit there and look at Philippians chapter 2. And the subtitle of that is, uh, the subtitle of the scripture I'm reading, it says, Christ's example of humility. I, 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 I want to get to that, and then I want to get to Isaiah 60, and then we're going to keep on pressing forward. Amen? I, oh, I am excited. Oh, I am excited. Come on now. Look at this. In Philippians, and I and, uh, I think I better go ahead and share that with you, right? Come on now, KT. Come on. Come on now. Share it. Share the word. It's the word that matters, huh? And I'm gonna share it on the uh, first King James version, so you can, you can, you can, you can check with me, and then I'm then I'm gonna share it on the uh, uh, on the Sefer Bible. May I should go Sefer first. Sefer is the one what we talk about is the new Bible version that has replaced all the names to be read as Hebrew names. Amen. And some other names as well, you know. And and matter of fact, oh man, we got to remember. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see for. Um, uh, I, I, you go ahead to read your your Bible, and, and I'll read the uh, the the King. I'll read the Sefer Bible, which, like I said again, puts the Hebrew name. And no, oh, folks, some of you, if you don't, you want to get the Sefer Bible, you need to go to the eSword. Uh, application or website, eSword, E, and I guess I mean electronic probably, and then SWORD, S W O R D, eSword. And I assume that they made that because they're talking about the Word of God as a sword. Huh? Come on now. And then we're going to give you the sword. We're going to give you a sword that got the Hebrew. Uh, blades on them. Come on now. Opposed to the Western blade. Come on. We're we going to say some names some things in English, but when we talk about somebody's name, we're going to go, we got to call them by their name. Right? And if we're going to translate their name, then we need to make sure that it stays 90% in sync with what the name means. Okay? All right. Look at this. Christ, example of humility. If there be, if there be, therefore, any consolation in Mashiach, that, that's the that's the he that's the spirit, the Holy Spirit. If any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Ruha, and this Ruha al Kaddish is the Holy Spirit, all right? If any affection and mercy fulfill my joy that you be like-minded, having the same love, 
being of one accord of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, mm, let each esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach Yahusha. That's Christ. That's Jesus' name. So, so Christ, the, the charisma, huh? I'll, I'll do the English for you because it's, it's fair to do that for you too. But I want to get you to see what it says. Mashiach, Christ, Yahusha, huh? Who, being in the form of Elohim, God, another name or characteristic of God, thought it not be robbery to be equal with Elohim, God. Come on now. But made himself, let me come up a little bit. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him a form of a servant, which was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore Elohim also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, name that is the name of Yahusha, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Yahuwah, that's God. Now we're talking about his, his name. The other ones are more like descriptions and adjectives. But here we're talking about his name. That every knee, let me say, every tongue shall confess that Yahuwah is Yahusha. I'm going to share in the glory of Elohim, the Father. Come on, y'all. Let me now. I'm gonna read it to you in uh, the English, but I'm I'm gonna still say it where I see Jesus. I'm gonna say Yahusha. Come on now. Come on. Let's go ahead. Let's go King James verse. I know. I know you 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 tripping. So we got to make sure. And I know in a lot of cases we in a lot of cases I think we've been tripping. Oh, you're tripping now is because it's like, where, how come nobody ain't tell us before? Well, what do you thought we'd do? Ignorant? What was, why would you keep that away now? Right? So let's go ahead. Here's, this is the King James Version that we are accustomed to reading. We, we see most of the time, right? All right. Uh, Christ, example of humility. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, which is my Hamashiach, Hamashiach, right? I just want you to know that. I'm going to help you out. If any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that you be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. Jesus, which is Yahusha. Come on now. Come on, y'all. This is what we're trying to say is and we'll get into the study a little bit. You, Jesus, from 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 some of the studies so far, is saying is that the first time that Jesus, the name Jesus, showed up in literature was in 1704. Meaning, this what we're reading. Is is somewhere between the first century, huh? The first century, A.D. after Christ's death and resurrection, 
Jesus, the name Jesus. It the, 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 these manuscripts was written in Greek because of the 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 the, the, the that, that was the, like the international language at the time, right? And somebody wanted to spread this gospel and talk about it. But the fact is that it was Hebrew people, Paul, a Hebrew of the Hebrew. Come on now. Huh? A Hebrew to Hebrew, Paul put if 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 you want to get deep about it, you want to, then he said Aesus. That's that's what he said, Aesus. Right? Uh, but he was he was doing that for others to understand that that was the international language. I guess they probably would have said this said, Don't you write that in Hebrew? <laughs> Maybe, but but the problem line is Christ Jesus didn't show up until 1704. You, you need to know that. So you need to know what is the Hebrew name because it was the Hebrew people who wrote this. They would say, let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach, or Hamashiach, Yahusha. I know it sounds strange to you, but you know, it's, it's first of all, it's not a Western name. It's the name in the region in which they, Christ, walked. It is the name in the region where uh, Moses and Aaron and, and Abraham that that's their language. That's their tongue. That's what they said. You know what I mean? Come on now, y'all. It's a Hebrew language. And we're talking about the Hebrew name. So you could translate a lot of things in English, but you really need to conform to the name. Because look at this. In Christ Yahusha, who being in the form of God, that's what we're talking about Elohim, thought it not robbery be equal with God. Huh? Elohim, that's what we just read. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in the fashion of man. He humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God has highly exalted him. God, see, now that's the point we got to get to. See, we know that it wasn't highly exalted in 1704, not that name, but what name was highly exalted when he was walking the earth. And the name that was highly exalted was in the Hebrew tongue, and that Hebrew tongue was Yahusha. And you can sit there and conform to that 1704 name all you want, but you need to know his name because when you get up there, you're going to know his name. If you get up there, you're going to know his name. And you're going to sit there and tell you who he, because that's God gave the name. That's all I want to make sure you understand. He highly exalted, verse 9, wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. See, see that, that's, that's where I'm uh, tripping with uh, ministers, pastors, priests, and pope, and any other form, you, title you may give of people that are supposed to teach us. When you, when you read something like that, Verse 2, 9, Philippians 2, 9. Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. <laughs> you don't change that name. You, 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 stay, you stay in consistence of that name. Now, I understand if you talk about putting the name. See, you mean, look, look, Yahusha is his name. Translated name from the Hebrew tongue. Are you are you tracking where I'm coming from? Yahusha is the translation from the Hebrew tongue. Because if we had all Hebrew symbols up there, uh you you you'd be tripping. You, you'd be tripping because of the Hebrew language and the Hebrew symbols. Just like if, you, if it was Chinese, if I put that there in Chinese, you you'd be look you'd be tripping because of the, all the Chinese symbols, and then you have to sit there and try to translate those symbols. That Yahusha is a translation from the Hebrew tongue, from the Hebrew language. 
Yahusha is the translation. Are you hearing what's coming out of my mouth? Yahusha is the translation from the Hebrew tongue. Mm, mm, mm. So he said, Wherefore, verse 2 9, wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. And if that name was was given that is above every other name, you don't change that name. So you don't change that name. You don't change that name. Then, then on top of that, you don't even let that name be of that's too important. That's too important to sit there and and, and we don't for three hundred something years or more, we sit there and allow the name to even evolve to 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 a name that is totally different from his name. That's an, it's, it's it's like reverence what God tells us to do. If God's name is reverence, if God's name is divine, if 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 Christ's name is divine, you don't you don't mess with that name. You you can you can go speak Chinese, you can speak Taiwan, you can speak anything as you want, but his name, you stay with his name, people. And I'm saying this, ask your pastor, why don't you tell us his name? Why don't you let us know his name? Now that you know his name, we understand at the time we were ignorant, but now his ignorance is no more. We have the translation of his Hebrew tongue. So a name, Yahusha, that's the translation from the Hebrew symbols, is Yahusha, right? God is highly, verse 52, 9 again, wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahusha, not Jesus, not 1704, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus, which is Yahusha now we're talking about. That's the real name, right? Not Jesus, we read it, but Yahusha. Hamashiach. Huh? That's the that means Christ, huh? Is Yahuwah. <laughs> See that? See, because there's Lord there again, right? And Lord really means Yahuwah. That is the Yahuwah's name. To be to the glory of Yah hmm? or Yahuwah the Father. Let's read this. Let's read Sef, Sefer, Sefer again. Hmm. Let's read it again. Is see, I, I just read you in English. Don't give don't, don't 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 be tripping on me. But I'm telling you, these are the tongue. These are the translations from Hebrew. For the names and the places. That's what the Sefer Bible brings to the table. It gives us a, a better insight. <laughs> gives us more spiritual in depth. Huh? Look at this. Christ's example of humility. I'm reading this again from the Sefer Bible now. Where we replace all the names. From English. To include Jesus. Because. <laughs> if, if, we, if we're doing it right. Jesus is his translation that we put that was evolved from Greek. I know, I know because, you know, I, I know it's kind of like, well, what are you talking about? You should ask your pastor, your minister, your priest, and say, man, why don't you just tell me his name? Because I don't want the meaning. I want the name that was highly exalted above every other name. So Philippians 2, 1 say, If there be therefore any consolation in Mashiach, which is Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Ruhal, that's the Holy Spirit, 
If any affection and mercy fulfill my joy that you be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let us esteem eat others, esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach, Yahusha, who being in the form of Elohim, thought it not robbery be equal with Elohim, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Come on, y'all. Hmm. And being found in the fashion of a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore Elohim also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Yahusha, that's the name that's supposed to be there, y'all. We've been reading the King James Version, and the, the, oh God, oh Lord, we've been reading it wrong. It's been translated wrong. The name that's highly exalted is Yahusha. It says in verse 10 that the name of Yahusha, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. It's the name. This is, oh God, this is his name. Oh, and that every tongue should confess that Yahuwah, which is in the Old Testament capitalized L O R D, and that name is the Father's name. That's what they're trying to say, Yahuwah. That's God's name. It would be replaced by Lord L O R D six thousand times in the Bible. How do you sit there? How do you do that? Lord is a title. His name is Yahuwah. And we sit there and let his name be covered up with a title. <laughs> we <laughs> God winked at this ignorance, but God is telling us now, because as the end times come, knowledge will greatly increase, and he's given us an opportunity to line, to line up with the Spirit in the name. He's sitting there saying that verse 10, that at the name of Yahusha, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Yahuwah is Yahusha, Yahusha, Hamashiach. Mm, it means Christ. To the glory of Elohim, the Father. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, people. I'm just telling you, man. Look, I'm getting excited about it because I like the fact that now we're getting to know, like I said, uh, what, what's, what's that scripture that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. But you know what now? Mm -mm. Knowledge is coming. Knowledge is here. <laughs> we we getting to know who his name is. And you 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 know what? Your spirit will line up with it. You you can sit there and say, man, I you know, until when it breaks through, your spirit, the rule of Akadish, the Holy Spirit will confirm it in your spirit. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, see, because see, somebody gave us a name, but that name is not highly exalted above every name because I think they did that for they can now make you conform to their uh, uh, worldview, their uh Desire, because some of them wanted to 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 conform everything so that the dominance of 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 the Western culture was 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 supreme above all other cultures, above all other 
uh, nations in the world, that they wanted it to conform to what they are. That's why they even drew pictures to conform to what they are so that you now get these words, the word of God, and they change enough to sit there and say, I'm pointing toward the culture, the nations that we consider superior. And all other nations shall bow down to what we look like or what we think or what we feel, right? You see what I'm saying? But, but, mm-mm, mm-mm. No, 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 no. We're going to go by what his name is. We want to know the names of the exalted above every name. See, we can't speak the Hebrew tongue, but we can get the translation of the Hebrew language. And we're talking about the names and the places. That's what the Sefer Bible gives you, right? So, so, so look, I'm telling you, it, it, it's, the, it's out of the box. People, there are people that got making songs out of Yahoo Shop. There are people sitting there making, you know, giving out the translation. It's like not just one person. It's a whole body of Christ that's learning his name. It's Yahoo Shop. Oh, Yahoo. Hallelujah. We're learning it. We're learning it and we're putting it out and we're spreading it so that you will know it. I know I feel like, you know, you go now. I think now the next time I'm going to start saying is in his Hebrew name, Yahusha, we pray. Huh? And just let them know I'm, I'm just praying in his Hebrew name. So I'm not changing who he is. <laughs> no, what I'm doing is I'm letting you know his name in Hebrew. Mm. I think we can get started. I think we can get it going because you're going to have some people say, I don't want to confuse people. Let me tell you something. His name is highly exalted with the name of Yahusha. And if you are a Christian, if you are a believer in Yahuwah, and don't you sit there and tell me you believe in the Lord, you believe in Yahuwah, and I know you do. Pastors, priests, oh, I know you do. You can't say nothing. We're just telling the truth. We're just telling what we're telling you what people we're saying what people don't want to say to people for some reason. I don't know why you don't want to tell people the truth. I don't know why we don't want to sit there and tell her his name. But his name is real. His name is true. And his name matters because his name is the name that's highly exalted above every other name. So we should tell people. And this one did so so that's why I think we're in the stage now. Matter of fact, I, I'll go to it. I go to it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. After I was tripping when I read when I read this, I was tripping, and I and, and I and I wanted I wanted you to 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 see it. <laughs> I, I want you to see it. I'm going to Isaiah 42 because because I'm sitting there like. And, and like I said, the word Lord is a title. It's not a name, right? Everybody agree with that? If you don't agree with that, that's fine. You don't have to agree with that. Go get your dictionary and look at the word Lord. Because you can have somebody named Lord Admiral. You can have somebody named Lord Duke uh, of, 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 of such and such place. It's a title. It's not a name. And now he 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 put in the scriptures for us to... to uh, to understand that, and now I'm gonna get to this, man. I don't know if I, I don't know if uh, uh, brother. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I don't know if brother Isaac gonna show up or when he shows up, but we're gonna get this. We're gonna, we're gonna make this a tape by itself because this tape is 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 anointed, is a day ordained by God to get His word out, His name out. Come on, come on, come on. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Because I, I think, you know, I don't know. Maybe we should start off with six. Let's see if we can see six. But I, I definitely want to get to Fort Isaiah 42. Okay. That's what I want to get to. But let, let's see if we can. Let me see. I'm going to check out. Uh, I'm going to bring it up in a minute. Let me see here. Let's Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. We're going to go with Isaiah 42, verse 1. I'm going down to verse 9. All right? So you get your, your Bible out. 
And and I'm going to read it from the Sefer Bible because the Sefer Bible, so I what's Sefer Bible? Okay, I'll read what I'm going to do. I'm going to read King James Version and the in Sefer Version. I'm going to read Sefer first, then I'm going to read uh, the King James Version, and then I'm going to do Sefer again. Because what we're doing is we got to educate people of understanding what the Hebrew names and places are. Uh, oh, and they still what what they call them in the in the uh, Old Testament and what they call them in in the New Testament. Uh, and we encourage pastors and, and and priests and 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 ministers and and and, and popes <laughs> to teach people the Hebrew names. And I don't care if you you call yourself a, well, I'm not a I'm not a Hebrew. Christ. Yahusha Christ, you know him as Jesus Christ, is a Hebrew. Huh? Paul, you know Paul. His name is Saul. And you know that he is a Hebrew. Matter of fact, he said, I'm a Hebrew of a Hebrew, huh? From the tribe of Benjamin, huh? Taught by Gainus, huh? Uh, I think it is Gainus, uh, so he 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 he's like man I know I know the word right and and they shared the word with us that's how we got the word today because they shared it and they shared it in the Hebrew tongue look at this now uh, and Isaiah let me go ahead and put it up there for you Isaiah forty two I'm gonna start reading it verse one. The Lord chosen servant is the subtitle. And let me see, I'm reading the Sefer. Okay, I'm reading Sefer first, then I will read it in King James Version for you. All right? Then I'm going to go back to the Sefer and read it again. All right? Look, verse 1, 42, Isaiah 42, verse 1. Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my elect one, in whom my soul delight, I have put my ruha, which is the Holy Spirit, upon him. I put my spirit upon him. Amen. He shall bring forth judgment to other nations. And you notice he says servant. He doesn't say servants. He says servant. His elect one. His chosen one. Huh? He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he has set judgment in the earth. Who are you talking about? Talking about, talking about Yahusha. Huh? And the idols shall wait for his Torah. Thus says the El Yahuwah. And you see, when I read the King James Version, it'll say, Lord. But this is his name. El Yahuwah. He that created the heaven, that's, that's telling you, this is El Yahu is he that created the heavens and stretched them out. He that spread forth the earth and that which comes out of it. He that gives breath unto the people upon it. The, and Ruha to them spirit, to them that walk therein. Hmm? Let me bring it up. So we're going to make sure you, you get this. You're going to get this. Ooh, hallelujah. I, Yahuwah, that's what he said. Yahuwah, in verse 6, have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand and will keep you and give you a covenant of the people for the light of other nations. For the light of other nation saints. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. To open the blind eyes. Mm. 
<laughs> because that's what we're saying. We've been blinded. We've been blinded by people who sit there and don't want to tell us the whole truth, nothing but the truth. They've blinded us and keeping us in ignorance and in darkness and keeping us, keeping us away from his name. <laughs> Glory to God. He said, verse 7 again, to open the blind eyes and bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am Yahuwah. This is look at this is old. This is King James in the Old Testament. Isaiah 48, 42, verse 8. I am Yahuwah. That is my name. <laughs> Whoa. That is my name. In my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to the graven images. <laughs> Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before the, they spring forth. I tell you of them. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, come on. Now I'm going to do it in the King James Version because like I said, that's what you probably got in your hands. I know that's all you got in your hands. Uh, but you can buy a seat for Bible. Uh, they like, Some people say you can get on Amazon for 900, for 900 for $99. And I think I've seen price range from $99 to $300. Yeah, they put it very high because they don't want you to get it. But I'm telling you, you need to get it. I'm carrying the people, you need to get your seat for Bible because that Bible is, is keeping things where the Hebrew names matters. It matters in your spirit, matters in your life, because we want to know the name that is exalted above every name, and we know it's not the name of 1704. We've been taught that, and I don't know why they taught that. I think I do, but the bottom line is uh, God is poured out his spirit to all of us and given us revelation and knowledge so that we can start operating under the anointing and of the name that he has highly exalted. Amen. So let's go here. Lord chosen servant. Verse, this is in King James Version now, not Sefer. For to, I, I will sometimes put the Yahuwah where you see God. Okay. Oh Lord. All right. Verse Isaiah 42, verse 1, Behold my servant whom I uphold, my elect, and whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles, meaning all the nations. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and a smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged now, near, till he has set judgment in the earth and the owls shall wait for his law. Thus said God, which is Yah, the Yahuwah, hmm? El Yahuwah, right? And the old in Sefer. But there's Lord for you. See, Lord, and every time you see in the Old Testament, capital L-O-R-D, that's where you will see Yahuwah. That's Lord. huh? That is your Lord's name. That's what he's trying to say, right? So Lord is where you see Lord, L-O-R-D, capitalized. That's where the name Yahuwah is, okay? All right. He that... He that created the heaven, and you you see, is is describing that this is him, right? This is this is God, right? Uh, this is Yah, the God of confusion. This is God, and then he's saying the this Lord that you see L R D in English, that should be Yahuwah. He's saying that this Lord, all right. So that's the writing of this Lord. It says, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, he that gives his breath unto the people upon it and the spirit to them that walk therein, I, the title you see is Lord. But look at that. 
when we get to eight, it will be interesting if we kept it at eight, but we know it's Yahuwah. And I'm going to tell you why it's Yahuwah. Because like we said, Lord is a title, right? Lord is not a name, right? He said, verse six, I, the Lord, which is really should be Yahuwah. I'm telling you again, I'll explain to you again. Every time you see capital L-O-R-D, it replaced the name Yahuwah. All right? Lord is a title, not a name. You hear what I'm coming, you hear what I'm saying? Go look up in your dictionary, all right? That he said, let me see here, verse eight again. I am the Lord, I am the Yahuwah. That is my name. My name is not a title. My name is my name. I am Yahuwah. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven image. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. That's the English version, and I was translating what needed to be translated as I was doing it. But just in case people forget what I was saying, I'm reading what the Sefer Bible, which is used to, is a translation. And I mean, they really did. I mean, the King James Version, them, uh, they got, they can't even touch this, is what I'm trying to say. That's why I encourage you to get it and encourage you to tell your pastors and so forth to read it to you. Uh, get them. I know. Well, I'm going to tell you something. It's time now. It's time to stop sitting there and trying to keep people ignorant. But it's time for the you as pastors and priests and ministers and popes to start teaching and educating people about his name. Let's read it again. The Lord chosen servant, reading from the Sefer Bible now. Behold, my servant who I uphold, my elect one and whom my soul delight, I have put my ruha, my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to other nations, not just Gentiles, to other nations. He shall not cry nor lift up nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and a smoking flash shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth, and the owl shall wait on his Torah. Thus said El Yahuwah, <laughs> he that created the heavens and stretched them out. He that spread forth the earth and that which comes out of it, he that gives breath unto the people upon it and the Ruha spirit to them that walk therein. <laughs> he said in verse 6, I, Yahuwah, have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand and will keep you and give you for a covenant of the people, for a light of the other nations, for a light of the other nations, to open the blind eye, to bring out the prisoner from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison's house. I am Yahuwah. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven image. <laughs> Behold, the former things are come to pass, <laughs> and new things do I declare. Behold, they spring forth. I tell you of them. <laughs> Uh -huh. Ooh, look out, look out, look out. <laughs> it's the truth that makes you free. It's the truth that makes you free. It's the truth that makes you free. That's all we want you to be able to do is know the truth. Mm -hmm. And to let your light shine so the people that have been blinded are walking in darkness. You will sit there and be able to let your light shine on the truth, on the word. Those who have been made blind. And because I don't know why, I do know. 
They blind too. So I'm telling you, pastors, priests, hopes, all you get the word, teach people the word of God, because this is a time. I once had somebody told me in front of a whole bunch of ministers, after I told them, I said, we got to tell people everything. We know everything. We know we got to tell them. And you know that joker told? That joker said, well, who will be in charge? Last time my Bible told me it is it, Yahusha is in charge. Huh? Huh? Yahusha is in charge. Huh? Y y Yahusha is the head of this body. Huh? Not, not, not you pastors, not you ministers, not you priests, not you pope. It is Yahusha is the head of the body of the anointing, the body of Christ. And therefore, you don't worry about whether somebody would excel above you. You don't try to see, keep them ignorant from the things of the truth. You're supposed to tell them the truth. You're supposed to equip them to do the work of the ministry, saints. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're called to do. Give the word. Give it so that they have power. Huh? The power, the anointing is on them to go and do the work of the ministry. You, out of the fivefold ministry gifts, are to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. You know you're supposed to do that. And I'm telling you you're supposed to do that because the word told you you're supposed to do that. Christ told you to go and preach the gospel. So look, we're waking up. If you don't want to wake us up, we'll wake ourselves up, huh? By the Holy Spirit, we'll wake up, huh? Let me tell you, son, I was looking at this, this scripture right here. I'm going to go to it. I'm going to go to it. Isaiah 60. Mm, 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 mm. I'm in Isaiah anyway, y'all. Oh, man, I'm going to Isaiah 60. <laughs> Ooh, the word is out. The word is out. And you can't stop it. The word is out. We're waking up, saints. We're, work, we're waking up. We're, not, we're no longer going to sit there and, and, and think that we're supposed to just stay within the Western culture, huh? No, we're waking up. And look at this. Uh, let me put it up here for you. Let me go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, saints. Come on. I like the last one. I read in the C for first, and then I sit there and read it in the other one next, right? Look at this. It said the future glory of Israel. The future glory of Israel. Not 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 what we see that that we don't that that's not glorifying God, but we talk about the future glory of Israel. Isaiah 6 and verse 1. Arise, shine, for the light is come. And the glory of Yahuwah, see, and I showed you in the, in the King James Version, but this is a Sefer Bible first. Arise, shine, for the light is come. <laughs> and the glory of Yahuwah is risen upon you. <laughs> for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But Yahuwah shall rise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you and other nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. <laughs> Lift up your eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see the flow and flow together, and your heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the Gentiles shall come unto you. Mm, mm, mm. That's all I'm reading. Now let's go and read it in English for you. Come on. I love the ooh, hallelujah. Come on now. Come on. Isaiah 6 in verse 1 through uh uh. uh. 6, Isaiah 61 through 6, sub, the subtitle is called The Future Glory of Israel. And he says, Arise, shine, arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of where we see Lord, L-O-R-D, is Yahuwah, is risen upon thee, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, gross darkness, huh? That's evil. In blindness, right? If you got gross darkness, you can't see. 
and gross darkness to people. The people are blinded. The people can't see, huh? Because gross darkness, the, they've been blinded. And look at you talking about the fact is that we don't even know, we, we, we don't even know that LRD is Yahuwah. We not finding out. I'm finding out. Look, I'm six over six hundred years old. I'm just finding out his name is Yahuwah. Mm. Who? But Yahuwah shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and keen to the brightness of your rising. Lift up thy eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The force of the Gentiles shall come on upon thee. I meant really one through five. That's what I meant to read, right? So look, rise and shine for the light has come. We, we, we're moving out of ignorance. We're moving out of blindness, huh? We, 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 we're, we're waking up. Oh, hallelujah. We're waking up to his name and understanding who his name is. Come on, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go back to see for again. Let's go back to see for. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Ah, let's read it again. All right, I will I'll keep going on that. The future glory of Israel. Mm. Even that's prophetic even today, ain't it? Arise, shine, for the light has come, and the glory of Yahuwah is risen upon you. So behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness of people, but Yahuwah shall rise upon you, and his glory shall be seen upon you, and other nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to you, your sons shall come from far, and your daughter shall be nursed at your side. There you shall see and flow together and your heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted back to you unto you and the forces of other nations I like that too. So it says Gentiles of the nations shall come unto you pastors Unto you, ministers, unto you, priests, unto you, Pope, if you let your light shine and not blind them, but open their eyes so they can see and so they can grow. Come on, yeah? Come on now. I mean, this, this, this says it all. This, this, this is a case that's been, been vetted now, huh? By the word of God. You know, we'll, we'll come back with something next week and see what else we can come up with. But I'm saying this, that, uh, oh, man, it's powerful when you get into the Word. You know what I mean? When the Word speaks for itself. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I'm, it's getting revelation of His Word. We're getting revelation of His Word. We get revelation of Word. So pastors, ministers, Priests, popes, bishops, <laughs> apostles, prophets, <laughs> teachers. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let our light shine. Let our people light shine. Because we'd get to know the name. His name is highly exalted, which is Yahusha. <laughs> We know that God the Father's name is Yahuwah. And if you didn't know that, Yahuwah means when you take the Hebrew, the actual Hebrew letters. Hmm. When you see the actual Hebrew letters, it means behold the hands and behold the nail. <laughs> oh, who do you think that is? Who has some nails in their hands? That's called Christ. That's Mahamashiach. Uh, <laughs> that's that's uh, the 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 uh Yahusha, our salvation. He's the one that had his hands with nails imprinted in them, and is said within the scriptures six. 
thousand times. That means that's so important that God, Yahweh, was telling us, "You will. I'm sending you a salve, a savior. I'm sending you salvation through my elect one." Behold his hands, you'll recognize him because of his hands and the nails in his hand. Mm? Mm. Can't beat that, can you? And then even Yahusha. Yahusha said, I come in the name of the Father. That's why I spelled Yah. And then Husha is, 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 is his name. And 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 and, and that that's you remember, like, if, if you go to the book of Joshua, see, Joshua was one of the people that Moses sent into the promised land. And because he sent them, all of them had God be with them. So therefore, they have Yah. That's why it's called Yah. God with them. God God is, is sent. They sit, God sent them. So that's why they came with the word Yahusha. Because if 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 you just wanted to say son of Nun's name is Husha. H-U-S-H-A. Because but he was sent by God through Moses, just like all the rest of them. Uh, uh, Yah. Yahusha. God with them. God with with them. God with with them. You see what I'm saying? To spy out the land. So he was with them. He protected them. And even the children of Israel, huh? They God it went with them to the promised land. Amen. But they had to wait 40 years but, uh, because they did they were disobedient. Huh? Come on, y'all. So that, that's what I'm saying. So man, this this is this is powerful. And I know you need to digest it and work on it and all study it. But Yahusha is Lord. Yahusha is Christ. Yahusha Hamashiach. I know, I know we got to get used to it. We got to get used to it. But the fact is that it's now known to us. We're no longer ignorant of this. huh? We now understand this. And that's why I want to share this. And I'm going to put this out immediately so that you can study it and encourage your pastors, priests, your pope, you know, your prophets, your teachers, the fivefold ministry gifts. Give us his name. Tell us his name. Tell us the name that's above every name. Tell us the name that every tongue shall confess, huh? every knee shall bow and confess that he is Yahuwah. Ooh, I like the fact that it's even tell I am Yahuwah. Because every time you say Lord, it really means Yahuwah. And you get it, and you know, you get some old scholar and old preacher sit there and say, not all of it, you ought to got you. But we need to get to understand every time it says Lord, He is Lord, means He is Yah, He is Yahuwah. We need to get to know that. Amen. All right. God bless you. We'll continue to spread and give this understanding to all of us as much as possible. I know other people, there's other people out there talking about it now. So we just going to make sure that you get it because it's time to move away from just a Western perspective or Western point of view. We need to go in from a Hebrew point of view of who he is. And I just, I saw something very interesting yesterday too about the, uh, uh, Saturday and the Sabbath day. Uh, the Saturday, the calendar that we use, just like we're talking about Sunday, right? That's 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 not the Hebrews calendar. That's not what they originally was using. That's not what God was using. He was using his days were based on the cycle of the moon. So they knew when the Sabbath day was. They knew when the you know what I mean. They knew it. <laughs> and and we, we're going off a calendar that's not based and lined up with the cycle of the moon. So even though we sit there and talk about, ah, yeah, about to worship on Sunday. I mean, Saturday, right? Well, uh, on the Sabbath day, the day of rest, 
Well, wrong calendar we use because they also said what the first month is too, didn't he? And first month is not January, did he? Didn't he say that? Come on now. All right, I, I will confuse you no more. But like I said, the Bible says for you to study yourself and prove unto God. Let's get to that point. When we start studying and show ourselves and proving to God and, and, and teachers and pastors and priests, the five, four minutes of grief, you have to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. That's your, that's your calling. Amen. All right. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up with this. You know, I'm going to pose. Look at that. I'm going to pose right quick. This, this is what I'm putting on my title, my slide, right? The cover slide. Put it away over here so I can put some titles over there. Over there. Over here. Wherever, right? All right. God bless you. Appreciate you listening. And, uh, you know, we'll see you when we see you. Amen. All right. God bless. Bye bye. <laughs> Let me get, I will get my uh, Greek letter up there too. Hey. Hey.